This house is for boys. Who said that? Who said that? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and today we are going to be touring a mansion with a secret island. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get into it. Boasting nearly 5,600 square feet with six bedrooms and six full-size bathrooms, the community at Enclave in Yorba Linda has this Woo! particular floor plan priced right around $1.9 million. However, after the model home went up on the market, the Zestimate claims this home to be just around the $2.7 million range. So 1.9, and then it shot up to 2.7 million. What could have caused that? I don't know what the location is. Oh, California. 1.9. And to get this, I think that's a really good deal. Now, first stepping into the Capistrano model home, you are greeted by a marvelous dual-sided wow. staircase. Hanging in between the two stair sets, we notice a magnificent collection of not one, but five separate chandeliers. Now, in between the two stair sets, we notice the formal dining room. This formal dining room features six seats, and it is located in a perfect spot of the home. Interesting place to put a dining room. Bang on in the middle of the entrance. Very random, maybe a feature table, not so much a console because a console wouldn't work there, but something like a circular table where you can like have flowers and stuff like that there would have been perfect. But can we talk about these staircases? Oh my God, it's absolutely incredible. It's not like your regular degular shape where it's like a circular, it's more structured. And I love, I love, 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 love it. Right behind this formal dining room, we do notice that the walls are beautifully decorated and do feature LED lights underneath. Now heading down the hallway right behind that formal dining room, we notice a beautiful shelf, which also includes extra LED lights inside the walls, and it features a wolf-designed coffee maker, along with a prep sink on the side as well. I then lead you guys to the elegantly appointed kitchen. Oh, that's nice. And as we move further through, we do notice that there uh, is a butler's kitchen featured in here as well. A butler kitchen. Now, while the butler's kitchen does not feature an extra oven, it does, however, feature an extra stovetop. And the butler's kitchen's main purpose in this scenario is to make sure that you get everything dirty in there and not in your actual kitchen. Because you wouldn't want to make that look bad for your guests, right? He's actually finally explained to me why a butler's kitchen is actually so relevant. For me, it was always about making extra noises. But judging from the size of that kitchen, you can't really do much there. He's basically explained that it is for getting dirty so that you don't get your actual kitchen, which is displayed for your guests dirty finally somebody's actually explained that to me so i get it now for me it's so tiny like what's the point of having it but it is what it is some people like butler kitchen so they have it kitchen itself oh my god absolutely stunning i love the gray the gray is nice and it works really nicely with the silver handles i do love that diamond shaped island because the kitchen is cornered, so it's sort of giving you a direction to look at. Now moving further through the kitchen, we notice another formal dining room table that is positioned right next to the center island. And while all the sliding glass doors are open in this kitchen, it just makes the entire downstairs feel absolutely massive. It's so nice. A nice open concept mm. layout done by Toll Brothers. Now after moving out of the elegant kitchen, I then bring to you guys the grand living room feature downstairs. Contemporarily designed luxury living room features, a sleek choice of furniture, along with nice modern plants life and mm. featured in the drawers and containers around the TV it is also sprinkled with other modern artwork which I really love this extra living room I believe features is more of a private type of living room a more professional style than formal spot where you can take your guests to the living room so you don't have to take them to the actual family room I did like the contemporary artwork and backsplash featured in this living room however I did think it looked a little bit like a doctor's office normally people show houses and they don't really tell us their opinion they are just reading from like some sort of spec. He's like, it looks like a doctor's office. And I'm just like, oh, damn, he has an opinion. That's good. It's nice to see that. I then open up the sliding glass doors and take you guys on a tour of the massively resort style backyard. Mm. Now, let me just start off resort. by saying that this backyard is absolutely magnificent. Now, starting off when we first head into the backyard, we notice a beach style theme, which includes the use of tan tiles in the flooring that serves the look of pieces of sand, while the other pieces of tile are matched to look like an ocean. I thought this backyard concept was a really neat idea, and I did really like how Toll Brothers executed this idea. Now featured right against those tiles, we notice an island of four individually planted palm trees. I think that these palm trees add an incredible amount of personality to this backyard, and I really do think that it does seal the deal to connect the modern living with the resort living in the backyard. I, I noticed that the ground of the water was very shallow, unlike the tan side. 
so it really feels like water and the waves hitting you you know it's designed that exact way and that's really cool I've never seen that before and it features this diamond shaped sort of island in the middle and um, that you can like walk towards I don't think it's that deep to actually walk through it diamond shape is consistent with the table in the kitchen pretty cool but let me know what you thought of this view now what you probably didn't notice about this backyard is that it does feature an indoor private hot tub and it is located right inside those glass doors that you see. Now before heading into the private hot tub space, we do notice a nice backyard area surrounded by plant life. You are able to push open every single one of the glass panels to connect wow. the indoor private living with your outdoor resort life what? as well. Now just imagine yourself in this private hot tub chilling on a nice summer day with all the glass panels open, just gazing at your beautiful modern design backyard. That's gotta be the dream for me. Whole deck with a barbecue and the, the, the lounging area and you can look out to your backyard. That's incredible. And the fact that the panels all open up to basically reveal that it's an indoor outdoor space Ah, I just love it so much. Now, after heading up those contemporary stairs, I then take you on a tour of the third living space that is featured. This versatile open living space okay. featured right up the modern stairs Famous. is decorated with an LED light bar and a beautiful pool table right next to it. This open upstairs floor plan is an absolutely perfect spot for all of your guests and bringing them onto parties at your home. I was gonna say, it's a bit, mm, weird bringing guests upstairs into your home but I like that it, this entertainment area is only on the landing just outside of that stairs so it's not too bad you can entertain guests there and they couldn't go any further but what I love so far about this house is it's really consistent very consistent the fact that the cabinetry is from the kitchen to the living room and this entertainment area all match Oh, it gives me joy. I present to you guys the master bathroom. What? Now heading inside the master bathroom, you notice the dual vanity sinks that are featured on either side of the bathroom, along wow. with a centered shower that also features doors on either side of the sinks. Featured in the center of this bathroom is also a freestanding luxury tub, which really gives this master bathroom the spa-like feel. Now taking you guys on into the main master bedroom, we notice a beautiful chambered ceiling atop, along with another very spacious living area. Yeah. We also do notice a nice mounted TV space. Yeah. Another great and feature about this master bedroom is that it features another set of sliding glass doors, which leads to a beautiful balcony space. Heading on out <sighs> into this balcony space, you are greeted by an absolutely magnificent view of your modern back yard. Also featured on this luxury balcony, we notice yet another mounted oh, wow. TV, another modern fireplace, along with an extra contemporary seating area. Oh my god, the bedroom is so me. Like, I love everything about this bedroom. The color scheme, hello, it's still consistent. You know, the neutrals, black, grays, and whites. Absolutely love it. And the fact that it's got a balcony, the balcony has a TV. Like, hello, absolutely amazing. Walking through the long decorated hallway, we enter the laundry room, make a quick right turn, and here we are. Need I say any more? This luxury closet space was honestly really designed like a Louis Vuitton store. Wow. Every single detail in this closet was thought out by Toll Brothers. They knew that the owner of this home was going to have a magnificent closet filled with various pieces of designer clothing, and Ooh. they know that the owners of this home want to feature it and display it. And what better way to do that than inside your absolutely magnificent master closet? And I bring you into one of the children's bedrooms. Now, this bedroom space is going to be very nice in size, and it also does feature a full bathroom included as well. Heading down the secondary hallway, I then take you guys on a tour of the other two bedrooms featured. London. Upstairs. Both bedrooms are going to include their own bathroom. The first bedroom is going to be in a brick United Kingdom style feel, while the other bedroom next door is going to be geared more towards the female demographic. I really do like how Toll Brothers does proper staging inside of every one of those rooms. I think it's a really great feature. I like how the rooms have been fully staged, but one thing I really <laughs> never ever liked, like flags and the, the Union Jack displayed as a piece of art, but I like that they've staged each one to make it feel like each room has its own personality. So this is where we go away from, I guess, and the consistency within the house. Bedrooms are all about who stays in that room. So they've basically staged it in a way where a person can basically picture themselves or picture their style in there. So it's got the London bedroom, the kids bedroom and the more feminine bedroom. So I like that they've done that so that somebody else can imagine their style in that room appreciates it rooms i then take you guys down the prestigious hallway so we can look at one more hallway. element downstairs now heading down the stairs featured right in front of the dual staircase is a beautiful outdoor courtyard space 
This outdoor courtyard space features seating for five, a mounted TV, and a nice bar space. The bar space does feature a prep sink along with various cupboards underneath and various refrigerators to store different pieces of food. Just imagine entertaining there guys. The amount of accolades that I would get just by entertaining there. The fact that you've got the outdoor, indoors living and then you've got this barbecuing area as well. Wow, it just blows my mind. It's there's a lot happening but I love every single thing. Oh my god, I just realised that this entryway has got batten and boards. Batten and board is really really coming in really strong nowadays. It's like we're doing a 360. We used to have it back in the day and then we got rid of it and decided to have plain walls and now we're going back to it because it does scream luxury. I do love it for this house. It really ties everything in together very nicely. Now before ending this tour, I want to show you guys the staircase one more time because personally this is one of the best staircase chandelier combos I've ever seen in a home and I just really can't stop looking at it. It's insane. You know what, I could tell that was his favourite part of the house, the staircase. I love this house. Would I buy it? Yes, I would love to buy this house. And I think for the space, gosh, it's reasonably priced but then I don't know which part of California this is actually in. But for that price, I think it's absolutely amazing. You are getting your money's worth. Worth it, absolutely worth it. What is my favourite part of the house? I think I might have to agree with the tour guide. I love the staircase. It's very nice. Minus the dining table there. Let's go into the comments and find out what other people think about this house. God knows how expensive this house would have been if it was located in Bel Air. Great video, by the way. Oh, that's um, good to know. So I think a lot of people are thinking this is actually a reasonably priced house in California. So just for reference, this house is, I can see it's located in the hills of the Orange County. Three million is a steal for this beautiful house. I think it's a good price. <laughs> I would buy it for three million. It's a reasonably sized house. This house is for boys. <laughs> Okay, so somebody clearly has seen an entertainment aspect <laughs> in this house for them to say that. I'm assuming they think this is a bachelor's pad and you know, parties all night, but I think it works for whoever. It works for families. The only thing is if you have children, I don't know how deep the pool is, so you might need to be mindful of that and how you'd protect your kids from that. I fell in love with the backyard as the beach style. Absolutely incredible, that's the first thing I noticed as well the fact that it's like a gradient water flow. It's done very differently to what you'd normally see a pool. So yeah, that was um, exciting to see. And the fact that they've matched the tiles to make it look like sand and then the beach and then the ocean is very well done. That's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed that incredible house. I know I did. So please do like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.